Hi everyone, welcome to Carus House. Today we're going to be fitting the calipers onto the frame. Okay, we're back. So we're going to start off with the front. And the first thing I've got to know is how much I've got to short on this. What I've done is I've taken a snip off the end here. I've put it into the caliper. There's the mark. Yeah. So I know that when I put it on the bike, that's how much extra, that's how much I've got to leave. So the caliper's on. As you can see, we've got loads of spare. So we're going to need to go that much past. Let's just have a look. Let me line that up. So yeah, probably to the middle of the screw. Just there. What I've done is I've pulled it tight and I've put a grease mark there. So I know if I cut through that, that will be fine. The tool I'm using to cut a brake line is this Jaguar cutter. It's just spring loaded. It's really good. Once again we'll use the Jaguar needle driver. Simply clip in the hose with the needle and then just clamp it in and screw it down. Very simple tool. Very very handy. So it's clamped round. There you can see the needle. And basically you just screw this in and after a few turns it's driven home. So I've got the olive and the screw thread and we're just going to put it into there and just do it up with an 8mm spanner. Okay and when you've done it up it should look something like this. The cable comes down, the brake is there, I'm using 160 rotors on the front that's why I've got that this way up. And that's what it looks like from the front. And we can now move on to the rear one. For the rear one, I've got to pull this through, but I'm just going to measure up. It kind of comes out there, so I reckon I probably need no more than that, probably around the one there. So if I cut the damper off there and then pull it through and then go from there. Okay, so in the end I used a uh, mechanical brake wire. I put it in through here, out to there, but it felt, not that there was a blockage, but it feels like there's only a certain bit that you can go through in here. It felt like it was at the top. So we've uh, pulled it through and the brake cable is sitting pretty much here. So it comes down the tube, comes into here and then goes out here. So basically we're just going to run through the same process. We'll cut a chunk off the end, we'll see how far it goes into the caliper, put it on, measure it up, cut it and then it's the same process basically. Okay we've mounted the caliper on the back. Um, back brake is a little bit different because when you turn the bars the cable gets shorter. So at the moment I've got the bars turned right over and it is there. If I turn the bars back, it's now there. So I've gained that much. So always cut it off at the shortest point, okay? Which is going to be there when I turn the bars back. So that is where we have to measure it from. It's going to be halfway through the bolt again. Having done a little measurement, that's how far it goes in. See the little scratch I made? So that's how far it goes in. So we need to go that far past again, which is exactly the same as the front caliper. Sorry about the background noise. Um, we had a fire here uh, next door and they're just repairing the house. So it's all cut down. I've got the olive and the screw there ready to go into here. So I'm just going to place it in, screw it up and then come right back. Okay, the brake line is in. Caliper's on. So that's our calipers on our Yolio R12 2021 model. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you like the channel, please give me a thumbs up, a like, and share it with everyone. And we'll see you when it's Kairos House. Take care. Bye.